Hello students, today I am going to discuss on the topic Indus Valley Civilization, particularly geographical extent. The Indus Valley Civilization was rediscovered in the late 19th century. Studies on the two major cities of this civilization, particularly Harappa and Mahenjo-daro, have established its contemporaneity with the old kingdom of Egypt and Akkadian and Ur III Empire of Mesopotamia. However, we know that the cultural materials left by the Harappan continues into the present day as many aspects of modern life in South Asia seems to be derived from the Harappans. Recent systematic and scientific researches using modern techniques under international collaboration as at Harappa and Mahenjo-daro have led to better understanding of the civilization. The Indus Valley civilization is marked by urbanism. Such trends of urbanism is evident from many sites. Now let's come to discovery. In 1826, Charles Mason has reported for the first time about the Harappan brick walls and ruins of an ancient settlement. It was followed by Sir Alexander Cunningham in 1872. In 1920, Sir John Marshall restarted the work on Harappa under the direction of D. R. Sahani. In 1922, R. D. Banerjee began excavation at Mohanjodaro. On the basis of stratigraphy, nature of deposits and types of the cultural materials recovered, Sir John Marshall concluded that these were the remains of a civilization predating the Mauryas and contemporaneous with the civilization of Egypt and Mesopotamia. He further added that this civilization was developed indigenously. Further exploration and excavation brought to light a number of Indus sites in Punjab, Kotla, Nihang Khan in U.P. Alagipur and in Maharashtra Daimabad. Many early sites are also located in Baluchistan and Sindh region, revealing the presence of an earlier pre-urban phase of the Indus civilization. Likewise, other new discoveries also reveal the existence of a degenerate phase of the same civilization, extensive work in the region, so that this civilization was much larger than other contemporary kingdoms. Wheeler popularized Mohanjo-daro and Harappa sites as the twin capital, ruled probably by priest kings. He also laid the idea of well-planned cities with fortified citadel containing public buildings, a residential lower town, and uniform material culture. He suggested the idea of a great civilization, which continued unchanged from over 1500 years. After the partition of India, 
and Pakistan, investigators received a boost and a number of sites were discovered in India and Pakistan as well. Now let's come to nomenclature. In the early days, more settlements were discovered in the plains of the Indus and its tributaries. Hence, it was named as the Indus Valley Civilization. Similar towns and cities were also discovered from the Ghagar Hakra rivers in Haryana, Rajasthan, Gujarat, and the Indo Gangetic Plains. From this point of view, some archaeologists prefer to call it Harappan civilization, whereas some archaeologists prefer to call this civilization as the Saraswati civilization, as most of the similar towns and cities are discovered within the boundary or encircled by three Saraswati rivers in India. Now let's come to the geographical extent of this civilization. The Indus civilization covers a vast area. It developed in the region between the dry Iranian plateau and the tropical South Asian peninsula. It includes Pakistan, that is Baluchistan and Sindh, and Northwestern India, that is Punjab, Haryana, Rajasthan, and Gujarat. This region was at a time drained by the Indus River and its tributaries and the Ghagar Hakra River mainly. The Indus is fed by five rivers rising in the Himalayas. A number of sites have been found both in the upper Indus and the lower Indus forming one core region of this civilization called the Indus Valley Civilization. A few sites have also been found in the western Uttar Pradesh in Jamuna Valley including Alangirpur. This civilization extended in the extreme west up to Sutka Gander about 40 kilometers to the east of Iranian border and in the east up to Alamgirpur that is UP near Delhi. The stretch of this land in the east-west is about 1550 kilometers. It extended on the north up to Manda at Jammu and Kashmir, 28 kilometer west of Jammu and in the south up to Dhamabad, that is Maharashtra. The straight distance between Manda and Dhamabad is about 1400 km. Thus we know that these civilization flourish over an area far larger than the contemporary Mesopotamia and Egypt. Now let's come to the chronology. Marshall was the first to conclude that seals, terracotta, scrip, and the architectural remains unearthed from the Indus towns of Harappa and Mahanjodaro, predating the Mauryas and as old as the civilization of Egypt and Mesopotamia. The chronology for the origin, development, and decline of the Harappan civilization has been a matter of debate among the archaeologists. According to Kenoer and Postal, the chronology and terminology, even though they have different views, can be explained in the following way. 550 to 3500 BC, that is Neolithic. 3500 to 2600 BC, that is early Harappan or pre-urban Harappan. 2600 to 1800 BC, that is mature Harappan or urban Harappan. 
1800 BC that is late Harappan or post Harappan Emergence of permanent villages with pastoralism and limited cultivation Jim Safo Review the chronology of the pre-urban and urban phases and concluded that the transition from the early Harappan to the major Harappan took place about 2600 to 2500 BC. Spread of settlements began with the beginning of the use of copper, wheel, and plow. The characteristic feature of Indus civilization emerged but with marked regional traditions. Emergence of large plant cities uniformly in material culture like standard types of bricks, weights, seals, beads, and pottery. Characteristics of the Indus civilization. Many Indus sites were abandoned, and urbanism of the Indus civilization gives away to village life once again. These generated features of Indus life continued with some craft and pottery tradition. Now let us discuss on the origin of agriculture and settled village life. Agricultural activities developed in many parts of the world and by 7000 BCE, such activities spread throughout the Near East. The earliest evidence for the emergence of agricultural commodities comes from the Mergar on Kasai Plain near Bolan Pass in Baluchistan. Now let's come to the early Harappan period. The early Harappan phase are represented by the following but important sites and areas Mundika, Keta Valley, Anjira, Togao, Nindowari, and Balakot in central and southern Afghanistan. Amri, Kodiji, Mohenjo-daro, Mergar, Ramandhari, Tarakai Kila, Levandar, Daris, Sarai Khola, Punjab, and Bahawalpur in Pakistan. Kalibangan, Banawali, Sheswal, and Rakhigarhi in India. The discovery of the Harappan civilization rewrote Indian history and now it became one of the oldest civilizations of the world contemporary to Egypt and Mesopotamia. We find the emergence of agriculture in the Indo-Iranian borderlands as early as 7 to 8 millennium BCE. At Mergar, however, it is a lone site and therefore not much can be said about the origins of agriculture in this region. But by 5th millennium BCE, we find the spread of farming settlements in Baluchistan and by the end of the 4th and 3rd millennium BCE, we see the emergence of early fissures of settlement which may have given rise to the urbanism of the major Indus civilization. This phase is known as early Harappan phase. However, regional traditions are still noted in pottery styles and other artifact characters. It leads the way to the major Harappan civilization marked by well laid out cities, uniform architecture, developed writing, seals and ceilings, and also developed arts, crafts, and technology. More intensive studies and decipherment of the script 
cell help set further light on the civilization which is still an enigma to us.